All right, the next alternative glazing technique for ceramic ware or bisque ware is going to be antiquing. So what that looks like is, um, and it, you can call it antiquing, uh, but it, it probably has other terms. So the basic idea is uh, it's going to look weathered. Um, the I'm going to add paint to this, but then wipe it off. And what that's going to do is it's going to go into the crevices and any texture marks that you have on your piece. So this guy, uh, Jabba the Hutt, he's, he's looking pretty good. He's got uh, some marks on him, so he's nice and textural already. So I'm gonna take a dark color. You don't have to use dark. You can actually, you can go lighter if you want, uh, it doesn't really matter, experiment with it. And if you don't like the way it looks, if it's not dry, you can just wipe it right off. So I'm gonna put a little bit of red. I don't know how exactly this is gonna look, but I'm gonna give it a try. So I got my paintbrush here, just handy. I am, I rinsed it, got it a slight, slightly bit wet, and then I'm going to this and now I covered that with paint red paint and I'm going to take this cloth and start to wipe it off and hopefully this gets the look that I want um, not quite yet I gotta wipe off a lot more I got another towel always keep your towels handy Okay. I'm wiping this off and let's see how that turned out. Okay, so I got a nice little baseline. You can see how when I pulled off the paint, started wiping it away, the paint went into the crevices and that enhances the textural marks that you put on your piece. Um, so, but I may want to add another color because I think that's kind of, would be fun. So here I go. Got this, a little bit of dark, uh, black. Uh, in general rule in painting, you always want to go light to dark. Go light and then one color darker. Build it up because it's so much easier to uh, go fix, fix mistakes when you're doing it carefully and lighter colors are easier to go over. If you go dark first and then you try to fix something that's dark, it's quite a bit more labor intensive and sometimes it doesn't always work out like you want it. So here we go. We got our guy here. He is um, all wiped away. Okay. So uh, another thing, I, I can still go with this. I think it would be fun to put some more colors. But I'm going to just focus on this part as my sample. Um, I kind of like the way it's, uh, there's some variations in the color. It makes it interesting and fun. All right, next thing is to, uh, if it's all dry, you're going to want to put some kind of sealer on it. Or if you want to keep it the same texture, or it's, uh, it's kind of a matte surface, it's not real shiny. But for me, I want to make it just a little bit shinier. So I got some um, glue. You can water down glue and coat over your pieces. That'll give you a nice shiny surface. Or if you have some lacquer in your garage, you can use that. Uh, not lacquer, but like an acrylic finish. Uh, a spray coat would be nice. Um, check things out, but watered down glue will work too, just fine. White glue, that is. So I am going to 
cover this. Another thing that works great is Mod Podge. It gives you a nice, clear, pretty finish. Okay. Okay. So, cover that. Let that dry a bit. See how it looks. Come back to it. Boom. It's going to look good. Okay. Looking good. So he's a little bit shiny. And... Now I'm going to 